Happy New Year, weirdos. It's 2024. And we're gonna kick off this year the right way. I know the last video we talked about some numbskull memos, some blocks of instruction, some questionable orders that may have been written by men hoping for the best, but just not thinking too far ahead in the future. But today's a little bit different. Today I'm gonna show you the best memo of 2023. Now I've made sure to block out everything on this memo that would lead you to contacting a person that wrote it. Because some of you weirdos decided to start sending emails to people directly due to the dumb memos that they wrote. Now here's the deal. Here's the plan here. Here's our commitment to one another. I show you the dumb and you write your feelings in the comments. You don't go out there and start harassing strangers. There's a difference between giving your opinion and then sending 30 emails to some kid who made a mistake in the middle of Kuwait. I don't need some battalion commander calling me up and being like, my guy just forever slept because 50,000 of your people called him an asshole, even if he was an asshole and deserved it. It's for his chain of command to do. They can do that. But let's move on to the thing that we're here for the best memo of 2023. Memorandum for record, dogs of war, boys. That's the subject, which just sounds motivating. And if you think you know where this is going, you're absolutely right. Dogs are companions that improve the well-being of individuals. Their unwavering love makes a great companion and brings joy to everyone around the dog. Due to that, dogs make a great unit morale builder. This is true. Purpose, when the mission permits, dogs are always welcomed at war boy company. Dogs accompanying their owner cannot hinder the owner's mission for the day and hinder the paratroopers from completing their work by COB. Effective immediately, all dogs that accompany their owners to work are to immediately report to the command suite. Proper introduction of the puppers is required before the puppy can conduct its work of improving unit morale. I don't know if this is a joke. I sincerely hope that this is real because this is one of the most motivating things I've ever heard of in my entire life. Just when I think you couldn't possibly be any dumber, you go and do something like this. And totally redeem yourself! Bring your dog to work day? And listen, the guy's absolutely right. What do you think there's therapy dogs out there for? Nobody wants a therapy cat. I've seen a therapy bird before. It was the most mind-numbingly confusing shit I've ever seen in my life. It had a bag over its ass so it wouldn't shit all over its owner. I don't know how a bird brings somebody calmness when they're the most fidgety, eyeball, freaky things. They, cr they came from Velociraptors. And cats, as we all know, are prima donnas, but dogs, service dogs, they make everybody happy. There's studies been done on animals in the workspace and how dogs calm everybody down, make everybody happier, and make the workplace more enjoyable. How do I relax? Well, like many other Americans, uh, I come home and I, I pet my dog. You see, petting the dog is one of the most relaxing things you can possibly do. My God, it's almost as if a commanding officer wants to make people happy when they come into work. Good Lord, this is awesome. Now I do have some rules to live by. Now I'm not smacking your buddy's weenie right now or rubbing your nose into the carpet after you've made a boo-boo, but I am gonna say some things to bring a little bit of reality to the situation so you're not caught off guard and end this fantastic, I don't, I don't even know what you would call it, occurrence, miracle? It seems like it's a miracle. I mean, for all the times that we were told you can't have a mascot when we were overseas and we just said, fuck that and got a dog anyway, you'd think these days were over. But not at War Boy Company. War Boy Company is a good boy company. But here's my two cents. Listen, the dog's gonna get rambunctious. Make sure you have one of the dumb privates walking around. And by the way, privates, I don't care if you don't want to walk the dog. Walk the dog. You're going to get a lot of looks. Go over to the medic station and let the females pet it. And then maybe you can get pet later on. It's not really a pain in the ass when you could get laid because of it. So don't bitch about having to walk it. Two, the dog's going to shit somewhere, all right? Don't walk away and act like it didn't just fucking shit inside or outside. Get a little baggy. Get a little squeegee, get a little paper towel. Shh, shh, 
spray that shit, make it smell nice and good, light a candle or a Febreze bomb, and then walk away. The less little messes that the commander or somebody else sees walking through your place of business, the better. And third and final one, train the dog. Teach it some interesting tricks. All right, this isn't just a playful thing. Let's learn together. Make the dog more gooder. And potentially, get it some doggles. And then you can take it out when you jump. That dog could get fucking jump wings. You little pooch carrier jump wings. Special forces guys can do it, you can do it. Fuck, you could drop a pit bull all the way off of a C-130 on the ground. They could probably bounce up and just be happy to see you again. Pit bulls are indestructible my choice of breed. Plus, if it's going to a whole bunch of paratroopers, you probably want to bring one of your more beefy, durable dogs. Those small little lap ones uh, may not make it. People who pet their dogs. And on that note, check out angry-cops.com. Get yourself a shirt. We've got new death before dismount shirts based on the previous video. Look at that. A tank that's a skull. Look at that. <sighs> Somebody ejected a little too early. Can't jump out of those. Can't. Can't jump out of those. Goose! <laughs> Dead. Oh, and be sure to check out the Angry Streams channel. Did a live stream the other day talking about the guy that jumped over and uh, went after the judge. That was fun. All right. See you next time, weirdos. Oh, and don't be all upset if the dog bites somebody. For Christ's sakes, the President of the United States, or Commander-in-Chief, has gone through two different German Shepherds. They both have been a combination of, like, 18 people. If the Commander-in-Chief can have a dog that's average assault on somebody who's once a month, you can keep a dog if he nips somebody for being an asshole and trying to take his fucking milk bone away. Paratroopers, please don't pester the dogs and try to get bit by the dogs. Don't, don't make them bite you. Oh, God. Please don't fuck this up. Carry on!